so they hear how horrible you are. I am not horrible. Look, I thought the other location to film this was okay. You don't want them to see a knob? What, this thing? That knob, right? Oh. Uh, there. No, I just, I never thought white on white background would be perfect for filming. Right, let's just start this shit show. What shit show? You know, negative thinking like that is not positive at all. I'm just saying. I love when you use my own shit against me. What? I'm just saying, like... Don't mm. say it's a shit show already. Alexa, turn off office lights. Like, that would make a difference. A little bit. A little bit. Mm. A little bit. Oh. Stop trying to be funny for the video. I'm not being funny. You're trying to. You know that's usually me regardless. You're a shithead. So, welcome, guys. Sorry for the late hellos. I'm Mr. and Mrs. Weirdo's podcast. She's like, let's just get this shit over with. Anyway, so how was your guys' Thanksgiving? Let us know in the comments. Let us know any funny stories. I unfortunately had to work Thursday, which that was weird. It was weird for me too. Like, you... You, does it make it so that, I don't know, like, when you know you're used to something and then that person's not there? Well, I also had two other people that I'm used to being there that wasn't there. I honestly felt naked without you. That is a weird thing to say. I guess I just, I missed the idea Okay, but you were at work, so it kind of made it more normal. But imagine me being at Thanksgiving dinner without you. That I'm usually weird. off Thanksgiving, though. I know. But I get what you're saying too. I just, uh, yeah. Wednesday I burned myself, guys. That was fun. Do you want to show, show him the gross finger? Oh, it's not focusing. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, you, you can kind of see, see it. The middle's the worst. It's like all red. Yeah, I can uh, say that was stupidity. And if you guys work in an environment that has hot products just word of advice everything is hot <laughs> wear gloves some places do have high like word of advice when things are hot don't touch the hot things yeah pretty much you know so far i've been there um i've kind of hurt myself more than i'm used to now I understand, like, Dennis when he gets hurt, but, like, I think his is, like, a little more into it because he does a lot more. Yeah. Um, me and him fixed that light the one day, remember? And I told you I got shocked by 1.5 volts. Boy, that was a scare. And I made the joke, like, when Bob was like, does it work? I was like, oh, yeah, it works. <laughs> the worst voltage that can like hurt you i think is like 240 and up like those are like breakers and stuff at work like the main power sources i get shocked by those i think i might die there's like a one percent chance that i'll survive now tell me does it bother you that i work in that kind of environment like i could potentially die at some point i mean I kind of grew up with my dad working in an environment where he could get sick from it, so I just know Oh, the asbestos. You have to take safety precautions. Well, I think what's the worst is, like, everything is fine. It's two things now that I can count that might get me hurt. Is one being on the roof, because there are soft spots on the roof. And Billy gets on the roof, so I've been used to that, my brother. Yeah, and the other one's remelt, and I say that because in remelt, I'm literally climbing on stuff, like a jungle gym, and half the time, like, I can only get up in certain spots to do my, you know, preventive maintenance when they're not doing something. Like, the furnace, in case you guys don't know, they melt aluminum products, so, like, uh, tire rims, anything that was made from that material, they melt it down into this furnace. And it looks like liquid metal. It's actually kind of cool looking, but it's very dangerous. Shiny? 
Yes, and the reason it's dangerous is because sometimes people will put things in there that are not meant to be in there. So at any moment, there could be a chemical chain reaction and the furnace could literally blow up or in the area that they melt the stuff to make these metal logs, like that stuff can blow up into the air and you could get severely burned from it. There, I watched footage that somebody actually had that happen to them once. I'm guessing they have some kind of process to check on those things. Oh yeah, those guys are wearing protective gear and everything. No, I meant before it gets in to the furnace. Mm -hmm. It's insane to me, like, but that's really the dangerous part. That, if anything serious got in there, could create a crater in the ground. Like, if I was close to it, I might not survive if it was severe. It's like a mini explosion. So every day I'm in there, I'm just like thankful that I walk out of there. So what do you think of that now? It's definitely more dangerous than being on a soft roof, right? Yeah. Or asbestos for that matter. You know what's weird though? I don't mind climbing into areas that are like jam packed and stuff. I'm weird. I won't do certain things, but like I'm okay getting in confined spaces uh -uh. or climbing. Uh -uh. I can climb without any like really harness or anything and I'd be okay. Which hasn't happened yet, but sometimes like I have to reach. So like I've seen some of the guys do this. They just get, reach really close to my face. They'll get on a scissor lift and then get outside the scissor lift and then stand right on the ledge of the scissor lift. Which I'm thinking, okay, they're wearing a harness, but that's kind of dangerous in itself. Is this whole entire thing no, going to be about? No, no. I'm just saying, like, you know, it's But it's just like nothing I can it's really comment to. It's thanksgiving I'm just saying for the many things that have happened in my life, I'm very thankful to still come home to you, my devoted I know, wife. but that was a really long story just to say something. So I'm just saying, I've shared, you know, videos of this place. But they don't know the story of some of those areas. Well, I'm saying, like, you're supposed to be talking to me. That's what a podcast is. You're talking to me. I am talking. I know. So all that stuff you're talking about, like, meh. Well, I kind of like, can't did. really comment back about it. Like, okay. So do you ever... <laughs> Subject change. So you got into resin. You got all your products. I think we talked about it last week, right? Yeah. I don't know. Well, she spent about... Don't, don't do that. That's rude. It's not rude. I'm just saying, like, you spent a good bit. Yeah, but it doesn't mean you need to tell everyone else how much I spent. No, I wasn't going to say exact number. I was just going to say, like, you know, it's like with any business and any of you out there that There's start a business. There's just, like, a lot of stuff involved. Yeah. You literally sometimes have to invest to get a profit, right? This is my biggest investment yet. So, maybe people aren't familiar with resin. What kind of products do people tend to make out of resin that maybe they're not aware of? Like, some of the molds we saw definitely... I mean, there's the side of resin... There's so many sides. So, there's, like, one side where people do floors and countertops and tables. And then there's the other side where people... Mm -hmm. Well, even just build furniture in each other general there's a side where people do paint pours and then use resin to seal at the top and then there's molds and there's like molds for like decor or there's like molds for jewelry mm -hmm. i mean different ring sizes uh like necklaces oh uh, there's actually other molds for things like books like little yeah. like stationary book i've seen those molds i think it's like trays even mm-hmm I think it's fascinating that I've seen some people do it on TikTok and stuff. Like, they'll grab, like, a piece of wood, and then they'll put, like, the different colors. Oh, she's, she brought some for show and tell. That's uh, tarot cards, right? It's not done. It's my first time ever doing this. Yeah. So right now, you're in the experimental phase, like, trying to, you know, like, figure out stuff. Um, you know, people tend to put glitter in it, lights. I'm sure you've seen the videos we're talking. If you're into art, guys, like, and you've seen videos on people drawing or whatever crafts, then you probably seen people do the resin. You know, like put lights in like 
like pyramids or yeah, a lot of people they make like custom geo oh, I like, slices. I like the signs and stuff too. People will have like ones that say like love or something and there'll be like lights in them. You know what would be fun is when we get a house one day, like we have like a massive area in the back for like a shop. So like, I hope our business, our business, I hope our basement is so big that we can have a big shop and then also your chill space and yeah. bar. One day I will have We always talk about our zone. house. So bad. I mean, you know, like I'm saying, like we could get a, like a big like shed like that's very secure, like from elements and stuff. You could put stuff out there like as storage and stuff too. Oh, people that do that kind of thing, like where they make their own shops out of a shed or something, mm-hmm. you have to actually like insulate it and everything and protect it as if you would a house, like a house. Guess what I've been doing? What? So some of the walls at work have oh, been... Oh, no. He's Hold on. Back to that. I have actually learned a lot from this place. Okay, Bert. So I learned about insulation and I've installed it in things that you would not think. For example, a furnace, to keep it warm inside, they have these folded up things that are insulators. And then you stuff them in, and it keeps them warm. It keeps the product inside warm, too, so it's easy to, like, deal with. Cool story. I'm just saying, I never used to be the guy that's, like, like hands-on, like, oh, let me look at it. Not hands-on, you mean, like, handy. Yeah. And thanks to this job, it's actually taught me a lot. Sometimes you got to take a step back because either it's t- like one of those like we can need to get it done right away so like the guys work on it quickly or you know it's just that crazy. I'm sorry. I know I'm talking about a lot about work. My wife's probably tired of hearing about it. It's our podcast. It's all good. I'm just saying self like teaching myself to like do things you're not teaching yourself people are helping you well people are helping me but it's also like helping me understand things and then i do things on my own i think it's amazing i never knew it was in me and i'm just proud of myself every day i walk away i'm proud of myself that's good yeah just like i would imagine when you come out with your resin products you're proud of yourself trial and error probably but I'm you proud know. of myself for finally having a business that's like taking off. Kinda. I mean, it's still not. You are. I want to say you're like halfway mark. To I don't know. I hope so. I think. Well, when it's how long ago did you start this? Was it last year during Halloween? My first year. My first sale was in October. I started it in like maybe March. I didn't get any sales until October. So it took off in October. Oh yeah, do you want to tell the guys and girls out there, um, you sold to every United State? Oh, that's right, I got another one, I got one last Yeah, she, night. her last state to get, uh, what was it, Massachusetts? Yeah, it's right over there. Yeah, now you have all 50 states. <gasps> oh shit! What? No, it was New Hampshire, New Hampshire. No, you got that one. Did I? Yeah. Why, how come Massachusetts isn't on the list then? You didn't get it? I thought you got it before. You had to have gotten Massachusetts. No, I'm talking about New Hampshire's written on there. For anybody that doesn't know, oh, wow. there's a map over here of all the states. But she literally did every state now, including Hawaii and fucking Alaska. Which, you know, as a business is, like... If you start selling out there, you're just like, holy fucking shit, I'm doing something right. And I've sold a little bit to Canada and... Germany. We well, yeah, have one order in Germany. Which, that was an you interesting You went really topic. back and now my face is doing it again. What? It's blurring out my face. I don't know what's going on. I'm fucking white. Well, I guess that happens when you're stuck inside all day. I'm not stuck inside. I can go out if I want to. You could. You just choose not to. I choose to stay in this room. But yeah, I mean, like I was saying, like, you know, you're starting to influence the world with your stuff. Aren't you, how many sales did you get? Because I thought you were close to a number and it was like a milestone, like 300? 
sales. No, I think I'm at like 402 maybe. I was 400. Because yeah. last time I talked to you, I was like, babe, you last need time. one more sale. Last and it will be at this. No, I think I'm at 401 or 402. So, yeah, I mean, I'm proud of you. I am. As much shit as I give you sometimes, I am proud of you. I like to mess with her and she don't like it. So Well, because I am doing this kind of stuff all day until you're on your way home and then I make dinner. And then I have to like squeeze in other housely stuff as if I'm not, you know, working. But I am working. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, you take care of things while I'm away. I don't even like stopping to, like, eat lunch a lot yeah. of the times. That's why I said I'm proud of you. And I'm proud that people like your product. And for the most part, you at least get, like, four to five stars. I don't know why people sometimes get For the most four. part, majority of mine are five stars. Yeah. I. Sorry. I, I worded that wrong. Five stars. And then sometimes it's four stars. I don't know why people give you a four star. I don't have that many. It's like you're about to go the extra mile for four. Why not just go up one more? I don't have that many four stars. What people don't realize, though, is anytime you do that, it does pull down the rating. My shop is still considered a five star shop. That's good, though. Because the majority of the ratings are five stars. There have been people that come after you, though. Oh. Yeah. I'm If you're... If you watch... um, any kind of like small businesses on TikTok, they share customer stories. Mm-hmm. Which you should start doing. By the way, uh, you know what's funny is you know how you were telling me like I wish I had the live so that I could like write people's names. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to see people do it like electronically now. You know, like how mm-hmm. you have the yeah. tablet. I've seen that several times. That's the first time I've seen it. Everybody usually does a chalkboard or something, or a paper. I would do it with a tablet. I just don't get it. Is it like, you know, like how people like certain sounds and it makes them soothe? You know well, I mean? and some some of it might be people that don't have good handwriting and they like to see their name done in like nice handwriting. Um, I heard some people say it's because kids aren't learning. Sorry. Kids aren't learning cursive anymore. So they like seeing their name in cursive. Hmm. I don't know. I just I thought know. it was like a. You know what, though? I went on someone's live once, and they barely had anyone in there, and I asked them to do my name. So it's like, guilty. What, just to see what they did? Yeah, just interesting to see it in their handwriting. I don't know. I guess. It's it's just weird, because, like, the fascination of, like, these videos that people come out with, and if one thing is trending, then everybody does it. I can't tell you how many times I see throughout a day when I'm creating content on tiktok it's like back to the main menu there's somebody doing a live handwriting people's names and i just think like why there's other people that do different things like guessing their age or drawing them based off of their tiktok profile picture different random stuff like that i still want to do that thing that i told you about but we need to maybe talk about it after the show because like i think it would trend really well because i can see people doing it did you watch that video i sent you on tiktok oh with the guy in the awful clothing and he just like falls over the ball awful clothing he's wearing shorts yeah it's awful clothing it's like his dad's clothes i was cracking up did you laugh kind of like he grabbed the book bag and then it was just like he was sitting on like one of those medicine balls and then he was like bouncing or something. I don't, somehow he rolled and got to his stomach on it, and then his back feet, opposed to his front feet, his feet grabbed two book bags, and then he still like rolled again and like flopped up in the air. It was great. Yeah. But um, I was gonna say like, there's that, and um. You know, I'm I'm starting to branch off a little bit. I was thinking maybe I should, with all the content I have, maybe I should try Instagram again. Because, like, all I have to do is download something and put it on there. I posted I always had an issue, though, with Instagram. 
Remember that time I had like 150 people and then they all just dipped? On they, Instagram? Yeah. I don't remember that. Because I used that thing you recommended, like follow for follow or something or whatever it was. I don't do was. that. Or was FYP on there I too? I don't do that on Instagram. I don't remember what it was. Maybe I didn't use anything. It's been a long time since I posted anything on there. But yeah, I, I was growing and then like half of them just left that's why i never liked instagram because like i've never had people just randomly leave for no reason people usually don't take the time to like i go into yeah. their list and get rid of people but it was like like you gain 50 this and 25 of them would leave and i just never understood why that was a thing maybe it's just for gamers i don't know i mean for you it's a different story I'm sure people stay for your stuff, but like I put out content and I also was thinking about, you know, Twitter again, but in a way like maybe figure out how that's utilized better because it seems like an area where like gamers go to post about things too. You know, I know nothing about Twitter. I never did. I kind of did. I just didn't, I don't think I used it well. Sometimes I would get reactions, but it wasn't that great. Maybe. I think it's weird. So, here I am redoing everything that I did at one point, like in full. And there's so much that's changed. By redoing everything, you mean just getting back out there into the gaming, like, streaming and sharing Like, hey content. guys, here I am. Yeah, well, sharing, yeah. I'm like, I'm doing pretty well. This weekend, like, I've had videos that reached up to 2K in views and almost 100 likes. That hasn't happened in you a while. Do, you do pretty well to where, like, you should not give up. Just keep going. I know. I just, I feel distraught because just like, you know, I would imagine it's like you any can't, of you can't, though, out there. or it's going to always get at you. You can't I, let it bother you. That's why I push it away. It bothers me that, you know, I Dude, put out content that imagine, I think should do well. Imagine the people, like, on YouTube. I mean, obviously we're putting this on YouTube. But there's content creators where they have other people starting channels to talk about them. That one girl I've been watching for years, she has so many different people that make channels just talking about her. And, like, pulling apart her whole entire video. It's That's, messed up. That is messed up. Well, but, like, they, she continues. She goes to, on. To be fair, some people deserve criticism, but I think good people don't. I think people that do criticize, like, I call them critics. Like, you know, you have movie critics, but then you'll have that person that probably picks apart, like, Logan Paul, which I'm pretty sure everybody out there will agree Logan Paul is a piece of shit. Anyway, so... See, that's what I don't get, though. I'm the kind of person that I've, I still believe if you have not, nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. I don't ever feel the need to be like, to, oh, this person, I don't like this person. To an extent, like, I'm like that, but you like... You just did it. But to be fair, he does deserve it. Because he's done so much dumb and irresponsible and rude shit to people. It is amazing that people... I don't know him, but you know what you're doing right now? You're putting his name out there. Like, you're, his name is in your mouth. Like, you're another person That's giving because, him attention. Like, every time I hear about him, it's like, this dumbass wants to fight this because now he's like an MMA fighter. He thinks he can take on um, uh, Mike Tyson. And I'm thinking, like, no. Mike but Tyson some would people beat the hell out of him. will literally you. play into things because it gets them attention. And that's why another factor, too, is Which is like why people, you shouldn't feed into it. People, quote, know how to play the game. It's like Island Boy. We saw that video where they were being booed. You don't got a point out of me. But I'm just saying, like, people see that. Have you seen, um, do you ever see, like, conspiracy things on your TikTok? Cause Sometimes, this, yes. There's this new thing um, where it's this guy who dresses up like a female and, like, dances around in his, like really messed up house yeah and people are like you know what's he's fuck still making videos and i'm i think he's like he's not saying anything because he's like okay give me attention what do they think he's like in a basement or something they somewhere? think he's like okay so he had monitors behind him that had like video feed 
but a lot of the times you'll see that the video feed is him and like some of it was like it was just pictures it's like people were assuming like he has people kidnapped and stuff but someone has shared that he has a facebook and you can go to his facebook and you see like he has a normal house and he has a construction company so obviously he's just has this house and he's just like chilling out in the house like who knows his situation that house though you're referring to it you know what it looked like okay so that first came out um i saw it right before it even blew up and it was like 4 30 in the morning and i noticed right away it looked like a trailer house kind of kitchen like because i've seen those kind of kitchens and trailers before so like that's what made me think like okay He's being creepy in what looks like a broken down trailer. It's not a trailer. I guarantee you it looks like a trailer kitchen. But it's not a no, trailer. No offense to you guys living in a trailer. It's not a trailer. You can see his house in other clips. It's, he doesn't live. It's not a trailer. So it's just a broken down house? Yeah, but like I said, he has a construction company. Oh. He just dresses like that. Although, like, you never know a situation. Maybe he is like... You know, a trans person that doesn't want to share it with his wife or... Like, you never know. Or maybe him and his wife yeah, have issues right now and he just likes to go there and hang... Like, you really don't know. Or... Or, like, a lot of people said maybe he's, like, doing drugs in that house and, like, making yeah. these videos and... Or maybe he's just like anybody else. They come I've, up with an idea and hope that it gets them fame. I've even seen a cop react to it on there. Yeah. My regret is i didn't do a reaction first because i saw that and i was like oh my god so many people are saying the same exact things over and over and over though but like when i saw that video it was only at two thousand likes okay that's why i said like i could have been the first one and i didn't do it oh well laugh goes on and on and on and on 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 that song did you really just do that yeah I hope that doesn't get flagged. Oh, like, yeah, your voice was so good at one point. No, that... no, no. I'm saying, like, like sometimes you don't You're good. you don't know standards. You're fine. You're fine. You know what I mean? You're fine. I got flagged. Oh, good. Don't do that. I got flagged twice on TikTok already. And one for music was... in your games? No. It was, like, one was for Halloween. It was just a still of Michael Myers that I edited and made it creepy. But you know what's funny is Michael Myers versus Jason. I didn't get flagged for Jason, but I got flagged for Michael Myers. So what does that tell you? I don't know. And then the other thing was it was like that video I told you about the whole like barbershop, like strip club. And it was only like I dumbed it down to like pretty much like not even a second. And I still got flagged for it for inappropriate shit. But here's the thing. You allowed that already on TikTok, so why am I getting in trouble for some? A lot of things like don't make sense. Like it doesn't. You know what I saw actually uh, last night on my walk when I was editing videos. It took me to the menu. You was, edit videos while you're taking a walk. Sometimes. Oh my goodness. Sometimes uh, YouTube is being a jerk. Like I can't do stuff. So, um, yeah. So this video showed like. Uh, you know, a plus size girl, and she was wearing nothing but her bra and her undies. And I was thinking, like, wh- how is that not flagged? See, usually a plus size girl will get flagged, but then the skinny girl doesn't get flagged. Well, and that's another thing. Skinny girls do it too. How's that not flagged? Why am I getting flagged for like Michael Myers? But I don't know, but you're getting I, loud. I I can't win. You know, they said if I get flagged one more time, I'll probably lose everything. Like, I'll be suspended from certain features. And I'm just like, well... Suspended, not expelled. And the way I see it is like, okay, for how long? What are you going to do about it? That place doesn't make any sense. I'm still trying to figure out YouTube shorts. You never did tell me if you figured out something. Oh, no, I forgot to look into it. So, I've been trying to post on YouTube again, guys. So, like, we have our podcast. She does stuff, too. She does vlogs sometimes for Oh, that's on my channel, though. Yeah, that's on her channel. 
So I highly recommend. Not you sometimes. Check it out. I post Monday through Friday. I did it two weeks in a row. I know. I'm I'm happy for you. Two weeks. You should keep it up. Yeah, I gotta record stuff today that way I can post it for tomorrow. I was just saying as a joke, but like she didn't like it when I said your shop is the most consistent thing I've seen you work on. <sighs> Because, like, I mentioned, like, some of your failed YouTube channels. That, my shop has only been a year. I've had YouTube. Well, that was before you. I've had YouTube channels for mm-hmm. years. Like, you're inaccurate. I, oh, I'm just saying, you know. So. I would have kept on with my Wicked Secret shop if it actually did well. After a while, it just was exhausting. Well, it is one of those things, like, you know, we had a right idea, but I feel like... Now, that was a lot of money invested. Yeah, and I feel like you could still, like, use it for this shop, but you said not yet, Mm -hmm. so... Which, you know, it could work out. I just don't want to get into that world right now. Okay. The bath and body and skin. But just know, the products are there, and you don't have to spend money on it. It's it's really hard, guys, when you do run a business because, like, half the time it doesn't work out. It's like streaming. Like, my world, it's kind of like a business. The when sad... you get, like, people involved, like, sponsorships and stuff. The thing is, though, like, when you do these kind of things without, you know, like, prior learning about it, uh, it's like trial and error. So if mm-hmm. I looked back at stuff from that shop, I'd be like, okay, you... Well, this is done wrong. I did this wrong. I could literally always say that I do not take care of my social media. And that's still the case. And you do better with social media. Yeah. I mean. Because that's like another way to drive customers <laughs> to your um, site. Which that's, you know, between me and you, like, we probably should do better about that. I think that's why there's such a thing as Twitter. Because people do say, hey, I'm going to be doing this at this time. Or, like, say you got a sale going on. It's the same way on fa- Facebook. is like... I do have a sale going on tomorrow, Monday. Yeah. I'll tell us about it. Um, I think it's, like, if you spend 30 or more, you get 15% off your order. Nice. So if you decide to pay- spend 60, you get 15% off your whole is order. Is that because and... tomorrow is, like, Cyber, Cyber Monday? Monday? Right now, it's 10% so off in general. Why would you do that for Cyber Monday when it's about computer? I'm just curious. Oh, shit. I don't know why I even said that. Cyber Monday is not about computers. I don't know why I just said that, because this is going to go up on Tuesday, so the sale is going to be over. Oh, well. You can still get 10% off. That sale is going on still. You always price yourself fair compared to other people in Etsy. Oh, so let's go back to that Cyber Monday thing. Cyber Monday is not about just computers. It has cyber in yeah, front of because Monday. Yeah, the whole... So c- it's... Cyber Can you listen? Monday. You're you're doing it and people are gonna be like, he's stupid as fuck. Cyber as in like the internet. So online shopping. That's what Cyber Monday is. Online shopping. Cyber? Online. Oh, he just realized it and he doesn't want to admit he's wrong. I just like saying stuff. <laughs> Alright. Okay. That's why you're wrong, because you're, like, saying, what is this over here? You're trying to do, like, a new style, like, ooh. Okay. I mean, if it works for Island Boys, I mean. Could don't even. What? I I don't know. I just, I'm growing it out, and I'm hoping to style it into something. At first, guys, if you know the show Peaky Blinders, like, I was thinking of something, like, to do similar to that style. Like, some of the guys have, like, their stuff swept and stuff. But she wants it so that I swept it back. Which is not bad, but she wants me to have, like... You have to a, show me the whole... ponytail. I'm like... That's oh. what I always thought you wanted. You have to show me this whole Peaky Blinder thing. Oh, I will. It's like a manly fucking haircut. Because I thought you wanted it similar to my brother's, which... Well, yeah, he even mentioned Peaky Blinders. He had his pulled back. And then I braided it into those oh, three braids. I'm going to show you right now. Okay. All I got to do is just like... What Life the fuck? Goes on and on and on. You are such a shithead. Me? Sometimes. Why does my mouth feel so dry? 
I don't know. P K. Like my inner cheek. <laughs> See some images. Uh. Not exactly what I was looking for. I have six orders to do today. They're still on the same guy, and I'm not like I want a variety, like variety. Um, do like Peaky Blinders hairstyles. Ah, huh. somebody already typed in haircut before. See what I'm talking about? Hey, look First at those all, haircuts. I know this guy. Mm-hmm. He's the main dude. And also, you said you need to grow it out. Oopsies. Your hair's already this length. Like, way past. Like, I like that. This? And kind of like what they did below him. Yeah, your hair's long enough. That's what I mean. But do you get the understanding of, like, the style? Like, I thought it was cool. Mm, I actually don't like it. What? It's like all one length, and then the top is like... Well, uh, you can do a twist on it. Like, right now, I look like that guy from, like, a goofy movie that... The Zap guy with I his actually, hair. I actually like your curly hair on the top. That's what I mean. Like, it's a, it's an okay style, right? It's all about altering, really. I mean, this is good, too. Like, you see how, like, his hair's straight, and then it's just... You can show the camera, probably. Possibly. Uh... Yeah, you can kind of see that. Yeah, you can kind of see it. That's the kind of style I was hoping for. Or, in this case, like, this guy has similar hair to me, in a way. <gasps> and similar <gasps> beard. Uh-oh. No? Don't do that. Also, your hair's definitely plenty long for that. Your hair is pretty long. It's just... I'm not used to growing it it's out. It's just curly. Yeah, like, if you pull these curls, like, you got length. I'm not used to bangs, either. Every time I get out of the shower now, it's like... Bangs. Oh, I can't fucking see! Is that what you deal with all the time? Yeah, we just get out of the shower like this. Jackass. My bangs are really growing out. I mean... I think they're good hairstyles. Made your eyebrow look like it was extended. So mm -hmm. you don't think, like, with my curly hair and, like, the shaping of the sides... I don't know. Try it out. I'm just saying, like, I think I would look fucking awesome. That's what I'm saying. Just try it out. Like, next time you get out of the shower and your hair's still wet, just, you know... I did that once. You were like, no... Where well, I like, show me. I don't remember. But you gotta remember, just because you push it back doesn't mean it's gonna turn straight. You're still gonna be curly. Oh no. I love the way it looks right now. This looks really good on you. Does it? You're a ham. Yeah. I am give a major ham. Give me attention. You have on tennis shoes. So? I have on slippers. Okay. Ew, look at that tattoo. No. So... I know I said I wanted to do it eventually, but, like, it seems like money is pressing, usually, with us. So when am I getting a tattoo? I don't know, but I hate when you talk about... I don't like talking about people's personal money. I want to get in uh, either this side, maybe, or this side of my wrist. That's not a wrist, buddy. That's a forearm. You did this. This is a really good spot to get. It does not hurt. At all. You want to explain your tattoos also, before people freak out over them? I don't care. Freak out. Well, this one I was referring to. I don't care. Well, not just explain to them the difference because people seem to think it's about the devil. It's not. It's a pentagram. Look it up. You're really not a great person at this. I was thinking you were going to tell them about Wiccans okay. and... So Wiccans and pagans, pagans for centuries, they came before Christianity, and a lot of the times people like associate the pentagram uh, as like the elements. So like I don't know which point is which, but it's like fire, water, earth, air, and spirit. 
Mm-hmm. And it's like all of them combined together. Do you feel like the church is the one that said, oh, it's the sign of the devil? Oh, also, this is yeah. from a tarot card. It's supposed to be the um, three of wands. And it stands for like um, looking into your future or like. Which makes sense because like in the middle of it, there's the rainbowy effect. It's basically about like looking forward to the future or just like. I don't know. For me, it's it's like a thing about like depression, about like you know, don't just focus on that moment. Know that like anything can happen, you know, in time. And then like your phases has to stay the of the moon. And then, uh, yeah. which is super cool. It's not one hundred percent complete because I didn't have enough room. But yeah, technically, I should have another moon on both sides. And yeah. this is the aurora borealis. Because I've always loved that. I actually mentioned it in one of these podcasts. That you know what's odd? Do that is like, I if I saw that woman that did your tattoo, mm-hmm. I would recognize her. She uh, moved she to was, a different... Yeah, she was from a different country, I think. No, I was going to say that she moved from a different shop. She moved to a different shop. But you could tell there was an accent to her. And then on top of that, she was skinny mini. Like, and little in general. Like, she's yeah, not tall. She was, like, not to be rude, but... You could tell she had like stick nipples <laughs> like she wasn't wearing a bra she was one of those girls that you know like doesn't wear a bra you could tell immediately Did and you, you just... don't want to be awkward Shh. about it either i think you just like say it right in front of your wife that you noticed her tattoo artist's nipples babe it's like going and i noticed those things it's and like I didn't going see it. into like an area full of guys, and then you see, notice like a couple of them are packing down there. What are they packing? You know what they're packing. Some nice <laughs> jar of pickles, maybe? I don't know. Sounds weird. Pickly. Maybe. Oh, now I want a pickle. Not yours, so that's not what I meant. Don't even give me that side look. Especially because I've been eating those dill sunflower seeds. Hey, you can't get that back. Look, it's doing my face. All right. The shittiest. You look like a fucking ghost with all that white. Do you want to wrap this shit up? Do we really have to? I don't know. I love this. Really? What are you talking about? Well, I'm just saying, like, it is awkward that sometimes you encounter things. You can glance. Don't stare. I don't that's what i did but i'm just saying like it's obvious no i just meant like i've i've talked to guys before isn't where you can literally i was talking i've talked to guys before where literally like for several not a minute or two minutes whatever but for a long period of time where they're staring at my chest and it's like do you know i can see where your eyes go yeah you can see if someone's eyes shift down it's like do they not care Men are animals. Some. I mean, let's not leave out women because they're guilty too. I know you look. Sometimes it may be innocent stuff like, oh, he's got nice tattoos. But then sometimes it's like other things. I've been telling you for years now, it's human nature to look. Yeah, it is human nature. And then you notice other things on other people as well. That doesn't mean you're going to, like, go up to them and flirt or be like, oh. I think sometimes, too, like... That's my flirt. Oh. Like, sometimes you notice things on people and then you have to look, like... You know, you know what I'm talking about? Like, say there's a girl with crazy hair and you're just like, that's a hairstyle? Or, like, you know, like, it's, like you said, human nature. Like, you notice things, I don't know, like, like and you have to look again. Or, like... You know, just, like, you notice a really nice car. You know, like, out of a crowd of crappy cars. Like, oh my god, there's a Maserati. You know what I mean? Like, like it's that moment. Do you have anything to add to the <laughs> show, babies? you awfully quiet today. Really? Tyler. Maybe because you talk too much. I don't try to talk too much. I just love podcasting. Do you? Yeah. I love doing this. Would with you, you do a live podcast where you just talk 
You probably would because you've lied. I actually was going to ask you about that. Guys, before we wrap up. Hey, do not go back. You're not good at this. You can't do it. I'm moving everywhere. I'm going crazy. (laughs) That's probably the loudest you're ever going to hear me because you don't hear it on a stream usually. Unless I'm fucking like, what the fuck? You do it on streams, trust me. I can hear you on the next floor. She's crazy. You know you're doing that, and people are going to be like, oh, I know exactly what she's talking about. What if I get close to you? Would that make me less white? I don't know if I'm close to you. (sighs) But yeah, let us know if you would like the idea of doing a live. I could set up a tripod. I didn't say I would even do it. I said you would probably like it. I'll think about it. I think it would be great. It would advertise the show. Oh, you mean on TikTok? Yeah. Girl, I got the live feature. Why wouldn't you? At least with that, we could do it every day if you really wanted to. Fuck no. You make it sound like this podcast is a chore. <laughs> I see that look in your eye. You're like, you? See it in your eyes. I see it in your eyes. Mm, mm, mm. I thought we were going with someone. (laughs) Who are we going with? You said someone. No, I said somewhere. No, you didn't. I meant to say it. Just remember, video. I love when you say stupid shit like that and I have... This wasn't recording the whole time. You're fucking dumb. (laughs) I knew you were fucking with me. Because I already looked at it right before you, you said it. You know how it. much that sucks to have to re-record a whole entire video? I just did that last week. I did um, recorded a video about me starting with um, epoxy resin. And I realized, uh, dumbass, you forgot to, to like enable the audio. <laughs> I had to record the whole entire thing over again. That sucks. <sighs> did you feel like you staged it after that? No, because it's not like I was trying to be funny or anything. I was just showing them different products. Well, let me ask you. Do you feel better doing it over again? Like, like, okay, I got the first time out of the way. Now I'm a little better at this. No, because stuff like that doesn't bother me. Because like I mentioned a million times, I've recorded videos so long for so many years. Even if it wasn't consistent, I'm still used to being in front of a camera. See, to me, like, I was going to say, like, I feel like sometimes, like, you got to get in the mood for things sometimes depending on what you do like when i start streaming live that's different that's live yeah live is like interesting so like i feel like i don't know what's gonna happen i just want it to be awesome and it's definitely better with people involved because when you don't have an audience which i've learned in my earlier days on twitch and stuff It just makes things dull. And people come by, but then they leave like, oh. Yeah, I feel like you, if you're going live and there's no one there, you got to act like someone's there. Because if someone comes. It's hard. Hold on. If someone comes into your video and you're just silent, what's going to make them stick around? And some of the people I've watched like that are like, I don't know, don't have enough going on. That's what they do they used to do my mistake where it's like they would talk only if people were there but then they wouldn't talk when nobody was there so even if i don't have an audience i just like randomly say something dan you you did it again what you made me white well you are white also you gotta remember too when you're recording videos and you're going live and stuff your job is to entertain your audience, not their job to keep you talking. Mm-hmm. I think. Oh, look, I have no nose besides, like, down here. Does that make you happy? No, because you're back too far. Oh, my back We're too ending far. this shit, Dan. Oh. Look, see, now you can see my nose, like, lines. What I was going to say is, it is definitely hard to, like, keep a conversation going by yourself. You know what I mean? And I think that's just a skill that some people do build up to. Yeah. Like, I've gotten used to it. Sometimes I'll, like, randomly, like, say, hey, Jaw. Or, hey, huh? Like, hey, oh, what? that's great. How are you doing? 
Oh, some people don't like when you call them out because they just want to come in and watch without being called out. So if you seem you come into your room, you don't have to be like, oh, hey, Erica. How you doing? I don't know. Because maybe That's they just, just want to be a lurker. See, to me, is like some people don't do it, but I do it because I just, you know, I appreciate people and... You know, I want them to, like, be welcome. You know, like, those Japanese restaurants where they're like, Banzai! As soon as you enter the, like, restaurant. They say Banzai? Or something. I don't know. It's like, like something like, welcome. Like, very loud. You know I'm what I mean? I'm just fucking with you. I know. But that's how I feel. Like, anybody that's new, especially, you know, that I never met before, they're just like, like, I like what you got. And I, like, I appreciate you. Appreciate you, motherfucker. What? Headache? Shh. Hello? Okay. What, did you even think the mic wasn't working? I was a little worried. Oh, we gotta start this all over again, shithead. Dun 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 dun. Dan, you're actually giving me a headache. Well, as soon as we wrap this up, I'll go get us energy drinks and food. Is the energy drinks for, like, now or later? Yeah, I want it now. Give me those thirsty eyes again. What thirsty eyes? <laughs> yeah, those eyes. She thirsty for something. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Some of the viewers are probably going to be like, what the fuck? Does he mean by that? If anyone's thirsty here, it's the curly one. I mean, it's been like a couple days. So. (laughs) You're stupid. Sometimes. I will admit, I am stupid at times. But sometimes, I am a fucking genius no it wasn't a genius is the fact that I did my hair for this podcast yesterday and then you didn't want to record it so then I had to do it again. well I didn't do it again it just looks like doo doo poo poo it's fine your hair is fine baby so we're gonna Wrap this shit up. Yep. So until next time, guys, just, you know, check out some other things from my TikTok and Twitch to her shop and her vlogs. We are about to end this shit, so you guys take care. We'll see you next week. And uh, let us know if you want to see anything different from us, even alive, which we could talk about. Love you. Love you. Love you guys. Bye. Goodbye. I said goodbye.